now kazumoto san asked about bitcoin cash specifically let us listen to this part talking about the nature of the cryptocurrency it was designed so that no one group or person could control it the very nature of its decentralized design has caused disagreement about the best way forward which has led to more than 100 folks of those folks bitcoin cash and btc is prob probably the best known and it has become one of the largest cryptocurrencies to emerge from bitcoin unpack what happened you know, behind the idea for bitcoin cash you don't have to go into details you know. so here we are deep into crypto politics if you actually look at the original bitcoin white paper written by satoshi nakamoto and you look at what happened bitcoin cash is the original Bitcoin. The thing that's called BTC, Bitcoin today, it has the Bitcoin name, it has the you know, high price, it has the popularity. Try making a payment with it. It doesn't work. And that's why you know, myself is the first person in the world to start a business that was not illegal, accepting Bitcoin for payments. We had to abandon it. It stopped working unless you're using a custodian nowadays. And so the entire Bitcoin politics of the day, if you look back on it, the big blockers were exactly right, the small blockers are exactly wrong, but as Mark Twain said, it's easy to fool someone, it's almost impossible to convince them that they have been fooled. And that's where the world is at at this point. The, the world has been fooled into thinking that BTC is Bitcoin or is cool or is something, and like, and whoever's calling me, please stop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so today, uh, you know, the civil war within Bitcoin's over. The, the people that wanted it to be peer-to-peer -peer cash for the world lost that civil war, but a lot of people don't realize how incredibly razor close it was. It was uh, within, you know, just razor thin. What's called Bitcoin Cash today almost wound up keeping the Bitcoin name, and the thing that's called Bitcoin today would have had a different name. It would have been called, you know, Bitcoin Core or, or something else. And if that had happened, uh, I think Bitcoin Cash would be far, far, far bigger market share than BTC has today. But you know, that's a parallel universe that uh, we're not living in today, so. Bitcoin Cash has already become legal tender somewhere in the Caribbean islands. Um, there's widespread adoption of Bitcoin Cash in St. Kitts and Antigua and all over the place, in lots of different places because it actually works for payments. Um, but today there's, there's lots of different cryptocurrencies, but uh, a fantastic website if you want to just see the power of decentralized permissionless peer-to-peer -peer payments, uh, check out cashrain.com. It just launched, it's uh, made by Kim.com, who was the founder of Mega Upload, which at one point was one of, I think, the top 10 most popular websites in the entire world. And uh, cashrain.com is a really powerful marketing tool for cryptocurrencies in general and marketing anything in particular. And that's, uh, I think, one of the more interesting projects that's out there in the space today. What's so special about Bitcoin Cash as, a, as opposed to Bitcoin? Try making a payment. If you want to understand the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, make a BTC payment, make a BCH payment. A BTC payment can be anywhere from 50 cents to $50. At the end of 2017, the average confirmation time for a BTC payment was more than two weeks, which meant anybody could do a chargeback for two weeks with that. And I'm not here to bash BTC, uh, but if you're interested in payments, BTC is not, is not the coin for you. It's uh, something other than BTC at this point.